All right, so we are back with episode three of our sword fighters simulator kind of journey that we have going on here. Now, if you take a look at my screen right now, everything probably looks a little crazy, which I'm going to explain a little bit as to why this is going on right now. For maybe those of you that just don't really understand how a lot of these leaderboard players, aside from the fact that they're spending a lot of Robux, are kind of getting so high up and really so powerful. But aside from that, I also want to talk a little bit about the progress that I've made, as well as how great great this update has been for me as many of you know this update we got ourselves the mystic mine is that what this is called i don't even know what this place yeah mystic mines let's pretend like i actually knew what it was and inside of here as i'm sure you guys know already the blood moon goes up zombies spawn in here as well as the vampires from the zombies that spawn up here you have a one in five thousand chance of receiving a secret sword and then the vampires down here is a one in two thousand chance to get it thankfully i've been lucky enough Enough to go ahead and get three of these please ignore my exclusive olympus i did spend 50 dollars on that now it's just catching dust but on the plus side the pet is still somewhat useful now the unfortunate downside to me getting these two extra secrets is the fact that i still have incredibly terrible luck when it comes to getting enchants i was lucky enough to go ahead and get tiny v which gives me a 60 percent faster sword on one of my specific secrets but the other two man i have been trying all day i tried pretty much all last night i even woke up at one point at three o'clock in the morning last night and i even tried doing some spins then still was unsuccessful i haven't been able to get tiny or flurry which is just insane because i've gone through so many shards which that now leads me into what is going on on my screen so basically right now i have the auto swing game pass and for the most part it doesn't really seem all that crazy now of course the moment that you activate an auto clicker it becomes kind of wild and this is exactly how a lot of people are getting crazy amounts of power. The tiny enchant is a very difficult enchant to get, but it's also an extremely overpowered one. Totally going completely off topic here. I'm just kind of uh, updating you guys on my entire status as I kind of go right now. But I also did hatch a secret from this update, which is the Elementus 450 mil power. And then actually we teleport over here to the spawn. Your boy is actually in the leaderboards now. So for overall power, we are right now at 68th place and i think for the daily one we're like somewhere in the 50 range not really important because again this is the daily one yeah we're 52 right now with a total of nine days nine hours and 38 minutes play so again progress has been going really really good this update and i feel confident enough to say that i've been extremely lucky with the vast majority of my drops another thing that i want to show you guys because i actually wasn't aware of this until earlier on today but apparently floor 62 does have relics inside of the dungeon it's actually called the room 62 and i believe there's a total of four relics i haven't been able to get the best one yet which is obviously the one that i want to get it is called dragon egg mainly because it's a little bit of a step up to my quill that i have right now it has i believe it's 1600 power as well as 1600 damage so it's really good because it has pretty much the best of both worlds on top of that it also does have 100 percent crit chance and 300 percent crit multi let's go we just got ourselves the christmas raid and honestly it couldn't be more perfect timing because that now rolls me into the next thing that i want to talk to and that is the santa hat currently in the game the rarest and best relic is of course the santa's hat this bad boy gives you 3400 percent power it's actually insane but also extremely difficult to get the next best thing after that would be obviously the book of christmas which is personally in my opinion even harder to get than the santa hat because you can only get this from the present that is located inside of the mystic mines that is locked behind a 12 hour cooldown if it wasn't obvious enough your boy has gotten three ice balls as well as a cursed candy cane from that chest so unfortunately i have not been able to get the book my cooldown on it runs out in about four hours or so so i'm kind of hoping that i'm able to get it today because honestly this santa hat is just not looking too good for me i've done this a bunch of times already and unfortunately, I have not been able to get it. On top of that, the mixture of me not being able to get any tiny rolls is even more insane. And honestly, I'm just losing it right now. Okay, I just need a little bit of help. Please, 
send me luck where is all of this youtuber luck that people talk about i mean i'm not gonna lie i kind of fell to this update i did get three secret swords as well as a secret elementus but can i just get like the full package deal like can i not be robbed out of one thing now we have currently 30 seconds left until this christmas raid begins and right now i just have fingers crossed that we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves the grinch let me actually switch my relic here because i need to put this on in order to be able to successfully do this because I am the only person in here, meaning that it's going to scale extremely high up. Now, let's take a step backwards here, and we're going to talk again about room 62 inside of the dungeon. Currently, while the Christmas event is going on, I suggest don't waste your time with it. I know it's kind of crazy, but yeah, unfortunately, none of the rewards are anywhere even near as close to what you can get from the Christmas event. Obviously, if you're not able to get yourself a book of Christmas or if you're not able to get yourself a Santa hat, then yeah, you definitely want to get your hands on that dragon egg because it's definitely going to make all the difference. I personally am trying to get my hands on it because it's still an upgrade, but I'm definitely not trying to lose my mind either trying to get this. And your boy got another ornament because that is all I get. You know what we do with ornaments? We delete them because they're trash. So tired of all those ornaments. And now let me give you guys a quick little taste on what I have to go through here. So we're going to pick just any random one of my secret swords. We got two spins here. We're going to spin this. And guess what it's not going to land on? Flurry. Instead, we get freezing. We're going to spin it again. Guess what we didn't get? Flurry. Because we're going to get freezing again. It's just, I don't know what I've ever done to deserve this. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, you know, Flurry is a 5%, and it's nowhere near as good as having Tiny. All I'm asking for is Flurry, man. Like, I mean, if I really, really wanted to go all out, I'd be begging for Christmas Spirit, I'd be begging for Blizzard, but no, all I want is Flurry. And then moving over here, we don't even have enough shards to do this, so it's a waste of my time. I'm literally one short. But over here, we're literally looking for Tiny, 4.46%. I mean, I feel like I get powerful all the time, and it's not even that far off. Okay, maybe it is a little far off, but it's not that bad. To be completely honest, I feel like I get mighty and brutal way more often than I get tiny, which makes literally no sense. And with as many times as I've spun this entire enchant wheel, I have not seen God a single time, which is insane like how does that even happen wait why do i have these on oh it's because that's what i'm targeting what does that even mean turning all of these off man what if this is like messing up my chances we're turning all that off i don't even use auto i don't have enough rolls to do that could buy some roll tokens though no i can't you want to know why because i'd spent like 300 dollars on stuff already all right so i may or may not be getting a little carried away here sorry let's just say i've been playing this quite a bit uh maybe more than my health probably recommends so i may or may not be going just a tad bit crazy and most definitely those of you that have been with the channel for a while you are probably like wow i've never really seen this side of carbon yeah because this game has really brought out the better in me i mean it's really just it's grinding my gears but at the end of the day i love it i, I do you know a lot of people are complaining right now and it's kind of crazy i've been reading the discord I understand where some of you are coming from, right? A lot of you that are on the top 10, top five of the leaderboards are really upset. An update drops. You guys end up dropping a bunch of places because somebody else was luckier than you or because somebody paid more money than you. At the end of the day, you can't be upset because someone outdid you in the leaderboards by spending more money. I don't know, man. I really don't like to give my opinion on that because then I feel like I get attacked. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm on the leaderboard. It's great, especially for the views. But honestly, I don't care about being on the leaderboards. I just care about what I'm going after and being strong enough to whenever I join a server and somebody's like, yo, Carbon, do you mind joining in on our dungeon and getting us an X amount of rooms? I could be like, yeah, man, you know what? I got you. And that is what I find enjoyable in this game. I enjoy the grind. I enjoy chasing after these things. The fact that it sometimes takes an entire week to be able to get something is really entertaining to me, as weird as that sounds. Do I think that I will be getting this Santa hat anytime before Saturday or at any point throughout this entire Christmas event? Probably not. Would it be nice to get it? Absolutely. Will that be more than likely useless in the next update? 
absolutely like everything else that we're all going after here weapons pets relics all of them are literally useless when another update comes out so it's just all about grinding after what's good at the moment just having a good time man this video really has felt like i for one updated you guys on my status explained a couple of things really quickly and then i just vented for about a solid seven minutes the real question is what are we going to title this video? I don't know. I'll probably come up with something. Either way, again, I really just wanted to give you guys an update. Thank you so much to every single one of you that subscribed to the channel from the video on Saturday. Thank you guys for all the support on that video. I saw that so many of you enjoyed it. And like I said, I'm just having a lot of fun with this game. I also just realized I have the wrong relic on. And I'm also glad that I opened my inventory because I was about to end this video without showing you guys the Room 62 relics. So this is the Traveler's Hat, 1300 power, pretty decent. Dragon Bone, Room 62, 1000% damage. Again, decent if you haven't been able to get any of the other Mythics. And then Book of Dragons is probably the one that is kind of decent if you're carried all the way to room 62 and you're not able to get an ice ball yes it has 300 more damage than the ice ball but it does not have that crit multiplier we tested it in room 62 i went in just with the book of dragons and halfway through the entire fight i had to quickly switch to ice ball because if i wouldn't have we were going to fail the room so my personal opinion Deadly Ice Ball is way better than the Book of Dragons. Is it better than the Dragon Egg? I have no idea because I don't have it yet. But if I do get my hands on it, I will definitely make a follow-up video. Hopefully tomorrow because I'm going to run the dungeon a couple of times today. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.